face from the stream. And this is live, by the way. It is NIP against Klamis Teague in the ESEA Season 16. First match of the league. First match for those two teams. And Ninjas in Pyjamas just fell short to Virtus Pro in the EMS. Catawise, you all have heard, read and seen that match probably. And we head straight into the pistol round. NIP having a really big stack in the middle. They are pushing down that now with Laren and the guys taking point. With Laren already spotted two terrorists, he now needs to stay alive to cover his teammates while Kenny is pushing back from Bananas, takes out Forrest and another great frag from him into 5th Laren, GMX takes out Exist there in middle and Clan Mystique has overcome this aggression by NIP pretty solidly, never, not even losing a single player even though NIP had the control in the middle, Mystique was taking care from, um, was taking care from every direction Kenny Ace came back from Bananas, they had two players in second mid that were not being killed even though Freiburg and Verflaren had a great angle. So NIP starts off saving on the CT side and the terrorists off to a good start here on the supposedly harder side. Kenny Ace saving for the AWP, just holds his P250 in hand. SF and Kiyoshima with P90s. And the terrorists take their time to set up their strategy. They don't want to lose anyone and don't want to risk losing the weapon or even a rifle in the hands of Hearts or GMX to one of the NIP players because they know that a rifle in in the hands of any of the NAP players will do massive damage to them and might enable NAP to upset them in the second round. Now the terrorists are smoking off the B bomb side. The rotation by NAP already taken place. Three players already in the B bomb side. GMX takes out Freiburg nicely on the boxes. Kiyoshima jumps in with the P90. He gets trapped by Exis there. Exis with a nice headshot, but GMX quickly takes care of him. Kenny is with an ambush from the tree. Gets one kill, but get right and fifth Laren answer back and make it a 1v2. In fact, get right in the back of the bomb site. 10 HP left for him. SF is slowly pushing him. Fifth Laren should come in and cover get right, but get right gets searched by SF and taken down by a headshot. Now fifth Laren only a pistol in hand. SF draws him out by a fake plant. But fifth Laren was forced away again, and SF is not able to get away from the bomb after planting. With Laren clutching the round in the end, even though he baited Get Right to be killed, but NIP is able to upset Clan Mystique in the second round and make it one to one, thanks to great play by Get Right in the back of the B bomb side. And even though Clan Mystique took their time, they really couldn't control NIP on the B bomb side. It was quite obvious they want to hit that. A bomb site, and so NIP was able to rotate their players really fast. Now Mystique was left on a 5v5 inside the bomb site, pistols from every direction, so it's no wonder they got taken down. Now the tides have turned. Now Mystique has to save with Laren and Forest. Take care of three, in fact. SF, GMX and Kenny S go down, only Hearts and Kiyoshima against three NAP players, they are trapped in middle, oh Kiyoshima with a nice headshot onto Exist, but Fifth Laren is there and forces us to reconsider our minus Fifth Laren threats there on HLTV.org because he just racked up five kills in three rounds and got a 3k in this Echo Bash. Let's see if he can keep on going with his performance against this weapon round by Clan Mystique. Freiburg with no frags so far. Hearts only three assists, no, no frags for him as well. So NIP with three players at B. Early aggression in Bananas. 
gives them the map control. The terrorists are forced to kind of work their way out of that claw that NAP has set up for them. And Exist tries to keep them in second mid and prevent the terrorists from getting more space to move around. NAP has a very firm grip there on the terrorists in this round. SF with the pre-fire not being successful, but now getting the frag onto Fiflaren, at least a slight opening on the A-bomb site, but it's not yet to be attacked because the terrorists reconsider their setup and try to make it work in bananas now. As the smoke should be going away in a second, Kiyoshima pushes through, gets the instant hatchet onto Freiburg. He had nothing to say in that fight. Kiyoshima only lost 67 HP, even though he pushed through the smoke. Freiburg wasn't prepared, but oh my god, Klamisik wasn't prepared for Forrest in the back of the bomb site. He only gets one kill, though, thanks to SF being very, very cautious. And now it's only get right against three. He makes it a 2v1 instantly with a frag onto hearts and Kiyoshima down to 21 HP so it is possible for get right to clutch it and Kiyoshima goes down GMX now showed himself get right down to 14 HP he pulls out the pistol fires away but GMX is wise to stay away and not run in there get right is forced to save his weapon because the bomb will blow up in a second and it will take out GMX in the end so get right at least got two weapons killed in this round, in the end. Clan Mystique though, back on track, 2-2 two to two the scoreline, and the rounds are going back and forth here. No team is building up any momentum and any bank account whatsoever. Look at that, 1000 on Kenny S and 1000 on Exist, that's the maximum the team's got in the fifth round here. The Flaren picked up the AWP though. And Kiyoshima puts a bullet into Freiburg straight away. NLP not able to get control on the banana bomb side this round. It is now only get right on B, left alone. But the terrorists are not attacking him yet. They wanna get a decent A fake going, or maybe even rotate back towards A. It's still early in the round. One minute, ten seconds to go for the terrorists. And NLP still didn't rotate anyone to help get right. They didn't even move towards CT spawn. So he will be alone against the five storming terrorists. GMX takes him out with a nice headshot there through the gap. And Clan Mystique captured B bomb site without losing a single player. NAP left to save their guns probably with Learn might be able to pick somebody off through the smoke but he just caught a bullet and decided to run away instead clown mystique with the early frag there kind of capitalized on nip's way to refuse to rotate a player towards get right and exist with a nice exit frag onto sf but he will be killed by Kenny S. And Forrest and Fifth will be able to take the M4 and AWP into the next round. So they might. Nah, they won't squeeze anything out there. They are still too low on money, so Fifth Laren and Forrest will try to save their weapons for the next round and kinda make a double save. And take the weapons to the next weapon round if they can't get any early frags in this one. So NAP this time around with a 2-3 setup and Fifth Laren with the opening frag onto Kiyoshima Forest with a great shot onto SF. Surprise him on the stairs in apartments. And quickly as that it is a 5v3 situation thanks to the two guns NAP saved. And that was what I was saying earlier. A rifle in the hands of any of those players is always posing a threat. And Clan was 
just trying to work out where the CTs are positioned at the moment. They want to kill at least the pistol carrying players and maybe get an opening on the B bomb side. And that's exactly what Hearts did with a nice spray down, even though Exist and Freiburg weren't looking, uh, Get Right, I think it was, weren't looking too good there in this fight. Can't mistake now on the B bomb side, planting the bomb. And I'm not sure. Okay, Forrest will surely save this weapon now. As for Flaren went down to GMX's headshot. Uh, Forrest saw him a little bit and now takes him out. Nicely done by Forrest. But now he's down to five and Hearts is the next one to show up on his screen. No, in fact it is Kenny S. Forrest picked up for Flaren's AWP to save that. And he is sitting in a headshot in a shotgun position trying to no scope anyone that comes near him and hearts and Kenny S they don't really look into every corner they could and miss forest so the AWP saved a lot of money for NAP while clown mystique is obviously building some momentum now 4 to 2 the scoreline let's take a look at the scoreboard. And the weapon round is crucial for NIP if they lose this one. They might be forced to save again. Looking at the money. Yeah, surely they will need to save. So Clown Mystique would be able to collect two rounds in a row if they win this one and you can see how they play they really spread out trying to get as much information as they can while NAP is slowly sending one forward into the apartments but Forrest is just not met with any opposition whatsoever the terrorists are all stacked onto the B bomb site Freiburg already went down and it is get right in a bad position to be honest it is an unusual position but it was too open and he gets quickly killed by Clown Mystique another 3v5 retake coming in for NIP Exist is really going into there while Fuflaren is spraying from bananas Forrest is sitting at CT spawn getting the frag onto GMX Hart still trying to fend off Fuflaren from bananas and NIP gave up on this round, they just want to have the exit frags. And Fifth Laren will be the one to look at here. As the terrorists decide to exit the bombsite through bananas, he gets one of them. Exist gets SF. And Kenny is the only terrorist surviving thanks to Forrest who picked up um, a nice 2k in CT spawn with the AWP. And Exist was even able to save the AWP. So I think it was the AWP that was purchased, uh, purchased in the third round, I think. And somehow survived all those rounds without being thrown away. And NIP squeezing out another buy. Thanks to that safe AWP. But it quickly goes down to a Hearts' headshot. Great stuff by Clown Mystique. Getting the early advantage in the round. And another... Nice frag by Kiyoshima. Fifth Laren hopped onto the nade and got blown up. 4v3 now thanks to Freiburg's refrag. But Clown Mystique is moving towards B once again. And it is only Freiburg sitting there with 35 HP. Getright is now rushing to his help. But he's not quite sure if he's yet to show up. And now he's needed there. But Freiburg already went down. Getright in there suddenly just stormed through the smoke Hiroshima had a free frag on him and another solid take by Clan Mystique 4v1 and exist sitting in CT spawn he's just trying to cover himself Maybe collect a frag, but SF in fact takes him out with a headshot machine. M4A1 to the face, Exist goes down, and Clan Mystique 
with a seventh round uh, with a sixth round on the board and NIP now slowly but surely getting the the loser bonus high enough to purchase weapons every round you see forest and get right with max sevens yes it is the one that wins this map wins the match overall and clan mystique is on the supposedly harder side Oh, and Kenny S with the opening frag onto Gadrite takes out the Max 7. And we all know that Gadrite is able to handle that weapon. He got a 4k in one of the matches, I think. Or was it the Ace? I'm not quite sure, but Gadrite had some massive actions with the Max 7. Kenny S, though, prevents him from doing that again by taking him out. And it's a 4v5. Um, I a three-man B stack by an IP might prevent Clown Mystique now. Maybe the first time they shut down the B attack. Despite the save round they had. And with Laren jumping cluelessly in the CT spawn prevents him from supporting his teammates while Mystique storms into the B bomb site. Oh, exists with a crossfire and Freiburg with two, with three, in fact, and he might get the fourth as well. No, Hartz is there. Vivlaren takes him out in the end. Hartz got the frag onto Freiburg. But great job by Exist and Freiburg to have that crossfire set up really close on the entrance of B. One from the box towards Ruins and one close quarter. So Clan Mystique, the first time they lose a semi weapon round with a B attack maybe they want to try A again they really heavily favored the B bomb site rightfully so because they didn't meet that much opposition as of yet and this time they go for a standard setup yet again Kenny is the one to try and get an early pick but he gets smoked up and GMX now needs to prevent the push from the CTs. But NIP will not be as foolish as a noob team and push into middle mid round. They rather decide to stack four CTs in the A bomb site and Clamy Six still decides to go there. They have no information. Obviously, Forrest gets one kill. Shima answers back with two of himself. Nice headshots there. But Kenny S doesn't know that there's a CT right around the corner. On his left, it is get right with the Max 7 and he takes him out, gets his AWP, gets gets an AK because it's better for the retake. The bomb gets planted by the terrorist, it is a 3v2 and the CTs are wrapping around, take the short A entrance and try to fight off SF who is in pit and gets a nice headshot onto get right. Really was only the pixel showing up there and Freiburg lines up in the same position, Kiyoshima takes him out. So SF and Kiyoshima fr both from pit pick up one each and make it 7-3 to three and NIP not able to get back into the round and into the half. So they are slowly but surely losing the edge. Looking at the frags you see it is fairly even. And that's the reason why Clan Mystique doesn't have awful lot of money to spare. And they chose to go for the all AK setup this round while NIP is saving. With Laren with a P no with a P2000 in the apartments trying to ambush any terrorists that might pass. But Clan Mystique chose to go towards connector and maybe even trying to get into the back of the b-bomb site through ct spawn that's exactly what they are planning to do and they have four ninjas waiting in the b-bomb site they are all hidden away in the shadows forest will be picked up by kenny as they are in a second forest wasn't prepared for that push the terrorists were really sneaky and now nip has to reposition themselves a little bit exist needs to take care of the of the ruins and the terrorists obviously track the CT's movements they know they must have 
stack the B bomb site and they're moving away towards A now. Kenny is the only one to keep the CTs from pushing into the terrorist back and then this nice flash enables him to pick up the hatchet on to get right. Exist now tries to take out Kenny S. Goes out to collect the weapon but Hartz is there waiting for him with an awful spray. Still is able to get him killed. Fifth Laren now the next one to maybe jump around the corner and get a frag. No it will be GMX with the AK getting the better of him. Clan Mystique losing only Kenny S who was there to collect some frags. Get some money for his AWP. And that is exactly what he is aiming for. 8 to 3 now the scoreline and NAP really struggling on the money side. 3 for masses. And all those stacks didn't help them even though they went for some funny setups. But they really usually don't do that regularly. They had like 3 or 4 traps set up for the terrorists but none of them really worked out so clan mystique should feel very confident here kenny is with the first Now NMP tries to collect some information. Forrest gets out, uh, gets taken out by GMX though. Get right on the B bomb site in turn takes out two, even one with a pistol. Now it's Kenny S to chime back in and make a stand for his team. He takes out Exist to make it a 3v2. He knows that Get Right is somewhere around that side of the B bomb site, and Get Right will be pushed in nice timing. Climb Mystique shows up. Kenny S and GMX peeking the corner simultaneously and SF just needs to take care of Fifth Laren who was stomping down bananas to get to the bombsite as fast as he can and NLP just stuck on those 8 and 7 frags while Clan Mystique is now slowly edging them out with 13 on Kenny S, GMX and Kyushima with 10 each with Laren carrying NIP at the moment with 8-8. And no, I'm just kidding. And another save round by NIP. Well, one of the three rounds they have won was a semi save round with only two weapons. So Clan Mystique really needs to watch out. NIP is hot in those pistol rounds. And they take their time, they don't want to rush anything. Just slowly working on the apartments, getting a crossfire set up there while two people hold bananas. And NIP with another four man stack on the A bomb site. Fifth Lern with a perfect line of fire. GMX with the first, but Gerai to follow it up with a refrag. Hearts now jumping on to get right. And Clan Mystique lose two players capturing the A bomb site while NIP exposes three to the early end. Exist picks up the AK that was dropped by GMX. And they even try to get a few steps onto the bomb site. Freiburg being tagged already, they know where he is at. And SF has a rough idea where Exist might be coming from. Exist gets a frag onto SF. Hartz kills Freiburg and Exist is left saving his weapon. He obviously wants to hold the terrorists in the bomb site as long as he can to maybe get them fragged by the bomb. And he does so. Hartz goes down to the bomb. The only Kiyoshima survives with his AK, still Clan Mystique win the round and make it 10 to 3. And let's 
see how many save rounds NIP had. They only had three real save rounds so far so they are really trying to buy whenever they can and force it up to the max. This leaves them with Pharmacis from time to time and Clan Mystique really took care of those defenses. When NIP had not a real good man. Oh, Forrest just going balls out on the balcony in in second mid. SF though is prepared for that. Takes him out even though he was surprised. Forrest just don't didn't give a single damn and jumped out into his face. SF takes out fifth Laren as well in the pit. And this round looks to be over in just a few seconds. Freiburg gets taken out by Kiyoshima and Clan Mystique looking great on the terrorist side. 11 to 3 now. Only one more round in the half and NIP with another Max 7 in the hands of Freiburg. He might drop that forget right even. Clan Mystique as stacked as they could be. And I keep with the B aggression. A punished with a frag and an exchange. But Forrest takes care of Hearts who was distracted by the action on Bananas. He kind of let his let his right side down and enabled Forrest to, to get the frag uncontested. 3v4 in favor of NAP. Freiburg and get right down to low HP. SF pushes into the bomb site, gets a frag onto Fifth Laren. Now GMX goes around the corner to get the frag onto Freiburg. 2v2 now. Thanks to some nice team play by Mystique. Pushing from two directions at the same time, but Gert Wright is already wrapping around them. Down Ken, yes, and get right from above, gets a nice headshot onto GMX. Finally, NAP with the last round of the half, make it 11 to 4. And we have seen Titan already coming back from that, from that um, scoreline. So maybe they go for an awesome comeback while my CSGO decides to die. Just give me that beat. You listen to that? Give me a second. So I need to restart my CSGO real quick. It decided to die. But don't worry, we will be back in just a few seconds. And here we go again. <clears throat> With a second pistol round, Clan Mystique taking the lead 11 to 4 already against NIP. Let's see what they can do in the pistol round. NIP with a straight middle push into the arms of Kenny as they go. Forrest goes down to the headshot. And NAP still proceeds to push forward. They have two CTs waiting around the corner. They are reinforced by another one of the B players. Freiburg takes out Hearts nonetheless. All the terrorists are pushing in from afar. SF should stay alive just a few more seconds. In fact, he gets a 2k. And there is Kenny S as well in the library. But goes down to get right. Kiyoshima with a wraparound takes out with Laren. And get right with a 2v1 situation up ahead of himself. 16 HP remaining, one coming from Bananas already, and GMX takes his time on the A bomb side. Get right is able to put down the bomb, just a slither of HP remaining, and he almost got seen by Kiyoshima as well. 
Now GMX and Kiyoshima push in, get right down to 2 HP thanks to attack by GMX. They really need to get him now. And finally GMX takes him out with the last bullet in his clip. And Clan Mystique make it 12 to 4 considering the save rounds. It might go to a 14 4 if things go to south for NIP. But they had a bomb plan, so they should be buying in the third round and maybe start their comeback from there on. Sixteen frags now for SF, who got two frags where he shouldn't gotten anyone. He was down to low HP already, they knew where he was, they jumped him together. And he still picked up two frags and Forrest just puts down Kenny S to the floor in boiler room. Survives with one HP while SF has got some problems against Freiberg. Still takes him out. Oh, get right with a nice headshot onto GMX. Phil Laren with one onto Kiyoshima. And <laughs> suddenly NIP taking control of the round. SF and Hearts down to low HP already against four terrorists. And they are deciding to save their weapons in the B-bomb site. It's a wise choice to make. But NIP will probably push them and try to get rid of those two weapons. Nexus sees the first one, puts him down to 30 HP, but SF is miraculously surviving that spray. Nexus pulls out the P250, pushes the bomb side. Now their time ran out. SF gets a frag on to get right. And Nexus pushes down, uh, pushes in to finally kill him. But it was with great despair. NIP collecting the second round of the half, making it 12 to 5. And they are upsetting Clan Mystique in the second rounds. Can Mystique giving away the second round of the first half as well to a save round. And now they are saving themselves. So NIP back on track. And if they smell your blood, you're sure they are hot like hell. And they will take you down as soon as you show the slightest sign of weakness. But GMX shows a, shows a great sign of, of strength with a headshot. Picks up the weapon as well. And NIP giving this round away, it looks like. 2v4 in favor of the CTs. Exist does a 180 to take out GMX and another 180 to take out Hearts. Making it a 2v2 and let me look like a liar. Get right puts down the bomb and exist on the ace. Let's see if he will be able to clutch that. I hope Get Right lets him pick up the two frags. It's always a pity when somebody's on the ace, but oh, Get Right just snuck out, got the frag onto Kiyoshima and exist is left with a fourth kill of his round to take Ninja in pajamas to the sixth round. And I wanted to say that it's always a pity if somebody has a 4k and he's still alive and still got a nice amount of HP and the clan mates, the teammates just storm in to finish off the last one. I'm always like, oh, couldn't you have left him for the ace guy? Uh, well, it's not about the scores, it's about winning rounds and... Ninjas in pyjamas just began to do that, while GMX and SF with the two early frags making it a 3v2 and a 2v5, uh, 3v2, uh, a 3v5 and even a 2v5 now thanks to SF. Forrest comes back with two frags in one bullet, it looked like, but Kenny S is ambushing him, prevents the bomb plant with Laren now on the balcony of apartments. 
having some struggle taking out GMX, but in the end manages to do so. Kenny has and Kiyoshima on the B bomb side. They know that there's the, the bomb, and Fifth Laren might be coming from Bananas. Kenny has takes him out, and Mystique upset NIP in turn and win their own safe round. So, NIP, thanks to the bomb plant and the consecutive wins. They are able to buy up once more, but Clan Mystique is on the verge of reaching match point, and there's no more space for NIP to do any mistakes. So let's see what they will do in this round. They have the initiative, they are on the terrorist side. And Kenny is takes out Forrest, who had only a Deagle in his hand, so Almost no damage dealt to the terrorist. Get right though is down to 7 HP as well. And it is a 4v5 in favor of the Frenchman. Kenny is with another great headshot onto Fivlaren. Hearts with another one onto Freiburg. And it is a 2v5. And La Mystique look very good there on the defensive side on Inferno. Exist is now down to 7 HP as well. And Kenny S just goes in there, quickly flicks and gets a frag on the get right. GMX does the same, even though he had a few more problems there. Exist goes down and Clown Mystique up against a save round to make it 15 to 6. Okay, NIP decided to force it up in last second. Get right with a Galil and a Flash exists with an AK. And Clan Mystique go for the aggressive banana push. Kenny is already down there on the tree in the smoke. He tries to spray down Freiburg. He had his sights pinned down on his head and he gets a headshot in the end. Freiburg goes down. And NIP know there's only one way out and it is... The way forward, the way onto the A bomb site, but SF is there. Closes down X assist. Forrest with a refrag onto Ken, yes, but GMX. Nicely done by him. Takes out Get Right and Fifth Laren. Now it's only Forrest with a deagle in hand, and he's got 16 HP. Everybody's spraying him, and GMX collects the third frag of the round. Clan Mystique hitting the 15th round already. And they are now on the verge of winning that game against NIP. Following this match, of course, Clan Mystique has to take on Titans. And the French rivalry, rivalry will live up to his best. Clan Mystique being warmed up. And Titan, obviously, eager to get themselves back into the action and prove themselves they are still one of the best teams in the world. But first, Clown Mystique has to overcome the rest of NIP. SF with the first frag onto Freiburg on the tree in Bananas. GMX sprays down into the smoke, now gets flashed and taken out by Exist, who picks up his AK and proceeds to push, but doesn't reload the AK in time. Gets taken out by SF. Get right working in the apartments. Gets killed though by Kiyoshima and Clown Mystique looking great. Only Forest left to at least get a 4k to win this round and he goes down to a hearts instantly after he said that Clam is taking out NIP 16 to 6 impressive score by the French and of course you can stay tuned this is Boo from Germany casting the ESEA season 16 for you